What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. Friends, as you may or may not know, every single month I do my best to create a silkworm feeding video. But Dion, why do you feed silkworms to your animals? Why do you encourage us to do it as well? I'm glad you asked that question. You see, silkworms are loaded with protein. These small little feeder insects actually have one of the highest levels of protein out of any commercially available feeder insect. But that's not the only reason we want to feed silkworms to our beloved specialty pets. You see, silkworms are loaded with other nutrients such as magnesium, iron, vitamin B groups, and plenty of calcium which are incredibly important for your animal's health. They also contain an enzyme called serapeptase, which is known to reduce inflammation. So this is all around a beneficial insect to the point where humans have actually created a pill and consume this regularly for that reason. It even lowers blood pressure and other things. So funny enough, I get lots of comments from my subscribers and viewers saying that they consume that serapeptase. So hey, go ahead and eat some silkworms with your pet if you want, I'm not gonna judge. If I had a dollar for every time someone said I might start eating them myself, I'd have a lot of silkworms to eat myself too. I'll be honest, I'm not there yet, but I did try eating bugs and you can watch that video if you wanna see how that went. Okay, weirdly, this one tastes better than the rest. No! <laughs> As you're going to see in a second, another thing that's pretty valuable about these feeder insects is that they are rather juicy, which adds the hydration factor to the value of this feeder insect. I think that's really important. Any type of feeder insect that puts more water in your animal's body is generally a good thing because reptiles can be dehydrated quite easily. Sometimes people underestimate how much water they need and providing it through their food can be a great thing. So with that all being said, I do my best to encourage you all to use these feeder insects if they are accessible to you. So let's get right into today's video and start feeding many of the animals that are in my home. Hello, Mr. Teeks. How's it going, buddy? Good job, buddy. Okay, guys, so this Dracaena's really grown in. You can see Torch's tail is just over there next to the eggs. I'm gonna try and see if we can convince her to come out for one. Problem is, Tiki is still trying to get this. Hey, buddy. Mr. Teeks. Tiki. Tiki. Oh, goodness, Tiki. Gross, dude. Ugh. Poor thing. <laughs> Look at this handsome boy. Look at his scalation. Isn't he incredible? There's Torch. Hey, Torch. Come on over. Oh, okay. All right, all right. <laughs> Whoa. You want another one? You better come before Tiki does. Hey, girl. to be nice to each other. Perfect couple. Good boy. All right, let's move on. All right, guys, if you know, you know what is about to come out of this enclosure. Come on. You got it. I believe in you. I wish all my croc skinks were as tame as she was, but it's a work in progress to say the least. Hey buddy, how's it going Basil? Look at this handsome monitor. Do you want a silkworm? Here, look at that. Basil, what do we got up here? You gonna come up here for it? Look at this one. He usually jumps back into the enclosure, but it's still some great progress. Ah, mm, 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 mm. is that good? That was delicious, huh? Quite the character. Woo, close-ups with the tongue. Okay, so as always, I do like to try and incorporate some enrichment. So we have a silkworm in here. I'm gonna kind of close things up a bit. 
Sorry guys, the lawn is being cut outside. Uh, silkworm is inside. Let's see what Mr. Bazio makes of this toy. Okay, so slight technical difficulties. Basil may have hit the ball into the water. Uh, let's try that again. I'm gonna try hanging it from here this time. I think we get a better hooking or holding there. Let's see what he does. Now we'll do something similar, but this time we're gonna use the finch nest and place a worm inside it like so, so that he can do a bit of exploring and find some food in there. Ooh, buddy, you got some uh, silkworm juice on your neck. Nasty, look at all that. Blech. Pull the nest off the wall. But it looks like he's still gonna find a silkworm. Okay. Well then, that was uh, that was interesting. Cool. You you took it off and, and got what you needed. Awesome. Okay, everybody. So I just cleaned out all my leaf turtle bins and cleaned out their water dishes. If you wanna see how I keep all my reptiles clean, do water dish changes, check out the link up above. But we're gonna go ahead now and offer some of my Geomita Spengleri some silkworms. Now, not all of them like them, but some of them certainly do. So let's go ahead and see what they'll make of them. Of course, Basil over here is wanting to get in on the action. Here you go, girl. Oh, ho, ho. Now that is some excitement, eh? Where are you going? She's running off with it. Ooh, oh goodness. Sorry, silkworm. Okay, everybody, here's ET, the little juvenile male. There he is. Hey, buddy boy. You want a silkworm? Come on over. This guy's adorable. What are you doing? It's over here. Come on. Look at this little hooligan. There you go. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Oh, ET, please eat that. All that mulberry goodness. <laughs> Sorry, Basil. <laughs> and I guess I might as well get their waters back in because for the most part, the other leaf turtles will not touch silkworms. Now the water's back in the enclosure. She's sprawled out and taking a nice little drink. Okay, everybody. Time to feed Sabzi. As you can see, she is very hungry. So I think we'll start things off with the nest here. Let's go ahead and put a silkworm in it. Sabzi, over here. Look what's up here. It's a nest. Yeah. Go check out the nest. She knows. There we go. He knows. These are such intelligent animals. Nice. Ooh. Mmm. There you go. Don't worry, we're not done yet. Now here we have the ball. I'm gonna hang it up there. One of her favorite toys. Can I get a silkworm in there now? 
Okay, girl. She's picking up on it. She's like, oh, I know what's in there. Can you use your hand or your head? A little bit of both. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna get to it, huh? See the wheels turning there? She knows it's in there, she has to figure it out. How are you gonna get it? Oh, she got it. Nice. Bravo. Where are you going? Ah, Sabzi. She got it on me. Ah. <laughs> Sapsy. All right, you guys ready for this? We got silkworm poop. Ugh. Some silkworm guts. I don't even want to know what that is. Ugh. It looks like some part of the digestive system. I need to start wearing an apron when I do these videos. Yes, I'm talking to you, my lady. I am talking to you. All right, girl. Hope you enjoyed. Let's move on. For today's question of the day, I'd like to ask you all how you feel about the ethics surrounding feeder animals. Now, honestly, I think it's something worth discussing. You know, we have a healthy understanding that our animals sometimes need to eat live animals. It is part of the specialty pet hobby, and it's something that we have to do. But how do we go about doing this? For me, I think it's really important to have the utmost respect for anything that becomes food for our animals, and they should be treated with equal levels of respect, whether it's offering them the most nutritious food possible so that the time that they are alive is healthy and pleasurable for them if they have that capacity, you know, feeder rodents for example. I think that it's really important that we show that we have the utmost respect for the animals that get fed to our pets and that we don't do it in any sort of malicious way. Sure, there is something to enjoy about watching our animals partake in natural behavior, but I think it's important that it's done so in an ethical fashion, one that doesn't cause unnecessary suffering to the animal being fed to our animal, and I'd like to kind of leave that open for you to share your comments and thoughts on the matter. Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, I'll give your comment a heart, and we can engage in a little bit of a conversation. Thanks. Okay, everybody, the next animals we're going to try and feed are my Shinisaurus crocodilurus. These are the Chinese crocodile lizards. You can see one of my females. This one's actually named Rexy in the back there. And uh, well, we can see if she might like to have a silkworm. There we go. Come on, girl. There we go. Nice. Oh yeah, right back into the tube she goes. <laughs> okay then. You see, sometimes that's part of the beauty of keeping animals. You have instances where every video, they're willing to eat when I record. And then there are other times where none of those animals are even interested in coming out to be recorded while eating. So it mixes things up, I guess. You get to see some animals some weeks for the feeding videos and then other weeks you don't. Okay, everybody, so we have a few silkworms here. It's pitch dark in the reptile room. We are going to go ahead now and see if any of the nocturnal reptiles would like to eat some. All right, so here is Pingu crawling up and down the enclosure walls. And then we got Rambo over here who is running away. That's fine. Pingu, come back. Do you want a silkworm? Okay, now I picked it up again. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Ah, uh, Pingu. There you go. Ooh, intense. Good girl. Ooh, look at her thrashing. Yeah, you know, a lot of people ask, hey, are these too big for my crested gecko to eat? And no, they're not. I mean, if they're a little bit wider than their head, even twice as wide, honestly, they're fine. They handle it. It's soft bodied. It's not going to mess with them. I mean, obviously, if you have a little juvenile crested gecko, maybe choose a smaller silkworm. But an adult crested gecko can easily take down a silkworm like this. That's whatever, two and a half, 
two to two and a half inches. Whoa, she almost shot something on me. That was like Sabzi style. Okay guys, so for whatever reason, Leela's actually out here. Let's see if she'll go for it on the wall. I think she will. Get it, Leela. Come on. Nice. She got it. Okay guys, so now we are checking out the Toke Twins enclosure. They're both over here doing great. There you go. There you go. Good job. Hello. Okay, the Toki twins have enjoyed their silkworms for the night. Mr. Basil, what are you doing down there? <laughs> Well friends, there you have it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching today's silkworm feeding video. I'll leave it at that. If you want to see more silkworm feeding videos, to see more footage of how my pets react to and enjoy hunting and consuming these little worms, you can check out the link up above to the playlist. Otherwise, I can't wait to see you guys for our next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please do give the video a thumbs up. It means a lot. Take care everybody.